Hello, my dears. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa, and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shikwetmik people. Today, the sun is shining outside my window. We're going to sing two songs today. Then we're going to play a color matching game. Then we'll do a sound game and a poem, and we'll say goodbye. Let's start with our bluebird song. song with a few other animals too. So in this song we have a black sheep and we have a cow who says moo and a bee who says buzz and a hen who says, cluck, cluck. So we'll sing our song about those animals. And when it's time to make the sound, you can sing too. If you know all the words, you can sing all the words. the one who made up all those other words. I hadn't heard them before. He showed them to me. Raffi. So now let's play our color game. I have this special box that I found and I want to show you what's inside. Look at all those colors. I'm going to take out the small pom-poms for our color game today. I'll take out red, 
orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, black, and white. Now I'll close up my box. We're going to find the match for all of these colors on my special box. Can you find red on this box? Hmm. I see red here. There's also red on this tail and on the beak of one bird and on the wing of another. I'm going to put my red pom-pom on top of the roof of the house. Now I will find orange. Do you see orange on my box? I see it here on the beak. An orange beak. How about yellow? Where do you see yellow? I see it here on the wing and I see some on the tail here. I'm going to put my yellow by the tail. How about green? Do you see green? I see green here on the wing and here on the tail. Hmm. My pom-pom matches this green, this dark green. So I'm going to put it close to the dark green. How about blue? Do you see blue? Hmm. Here's blue. How about purple? Ah, this looks kind of like purple. It's the closest I see. How about pink? Do you see pink? There's pink on the body over here and pink over here. Which one matches better? I think I'll put my pink on this body here. How about black? Do you see any black on this picture? I see black on the door here. I'm going to put the black here on my box. What about white? Do you see white on the box? I see white on the house here. I'm going to put white on the house. There, I matched all my colors. Thank you for helping. Now we're going to play a sound game, then we'll do a poem and we'll say goodbye. So, I have something in my hand and it starts with the sound s and it's something that hockey players wear on their feet when they are skating on the ice starts with the sound figure skaters also wear these on their feet. Did you guess skate?
skate. You can also call this an ice skate, but in that case, it would start with the sound I. We'll call it skate today. Skate. I have something in my hand and it starts with the sound B. B. It is something that has a lid and we can put treasures inside. It starts with the sound B. Hmm. Did you say box? My box has a lid. I can open the lid and put treasures inside. It's called a box. Box starts with the sound B. B. I have something else in my hand. This starts with the sound mmm. Mmm. And this is kind of like a bicycle because it has two wheels, but it has a motor so it can go very fast on the roads. It starts with the sound mmm. Did you say? Motorcycle? This is my motorcycle. Mmm. Motorcycle starts with the sound mmm. Now we'll do our cherry tree poem and then we'll say goodbye. I had um I had a little cherry stone. I put it in the ground. And next time, when I came to look, a little shoot I found. It grew and grew into a tree. Then I picked the cherries and drank them with my tea. Mmm. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye.